So this will not be your standard uh, kind of like goofy, ridiculous story style video that is kind of a staple for the channel. Uh, you've probably noticed that I mixed in a few more of these kind of like personal vlog dialogue type videos, which they're kind of my favorite to make. Uh, this one <laughs> isn't necessarily my favorite to make and I've kind of put it off for a while. But if you're looking for something a bit more upbeat, there are plenty of videos. and I mean like hundreds of videos you can go ahead and watch if that's what you're looking for. Uh, but, you know, if you've kind of paid close attempt, uh, attention and maybe kind of kept tabs on my videos in the last couple weeks or so, you might have noticed that, like, I was kind of alluding to, like, oh, something happened, but I'm, I'm, I'm chilling now. And uh, I thought it's about time that I kind of address that and kind of just tell you what's been going on instead of kind of alluding, like, oh, it wasn't great, but I'm good now and just kind of, like, spell it out entirely. Uh, so, yeah, let's <laughs> let's jump into that, I guess. So about a couple weeks ago, uh, I was, you know, in the movies with a friend and I was like, life was, life was good. I was just chilling. Things were totally fine and normal. And uh, midway through the movie, I started feeling sensations that were kind of, I've never felt them before. And I felt like, I felt like panic before, right? Well, I'm taking a test. And I have no idea what's going on or maybe kind of like dread before a social situation that I don't really want to enter. I don't know, maybe some girl who like dumped me recently is like in the room, but it was kind of a sensation of that times like 1000 and kind of a sense of like crippling panic. Um, and the, the weirdest thing to me was that there was no reason for me to be feeling this. And beforehand I felt like I, I would feel like panicked or anxious during, uh, I don't know, an exam because I was about to fail that exam, you know? Uh, but in this situation, there was nothing like that, man. Like, it was truly out of nowhere. And it took me a good 20 minutes to really calm down from it. And I was pretty, like, I was jittered up for, like, the next couple hours, just completely confused about what happened. I think with, with retrospect, it's pretty clearly was a panic attack and the first one I've ever had. And I'm a pretty calm guy in general, I would say. Uh, but about a couple weeks ago, as many of you guys know, I got my wisdom teeth removed. And there was a medication that they prescribed to me with my wisdom teeth. It's called prednisone. It's supposedly supposed to kind of uh, make the swelling in your mouth less so. However, there, there are side effects, including extreme anxiety and feeling like you're going insane. I kind of wish that they, I don't know, uh, told me this or just mentioned this to me before telling me like, oh yeah, your swelling will go down, but you're going to feel like you're going insane. Like, okay, man, like you got to tell me this beforehand. But in all seriousness, um, a couple days after I started the medication for my wisdom teeth, my wisdom teeth were actually recovering really well. The pain was not bad at all. And I was doing kind of extremely well. Uh, during that night, I had another one of these panic attacks that I had a week before, but it was unlike, I, I couldn't, the thing with the one before was that I was, you know, I was able to calm down within 20 minutes and I was able to be totally fine afterwards. And I actually spent the entire week totally calm, totally normal. But because of the effects of this medication, it kind of made it 100x what it was before. And the worst thing is, is it made it last extremely long. And when I mean last extremely long, I mean, I had kind of another episode before I went to bed. And I assumed that when I woke up the next day, you know, I'd be totally fine. Um, but that was not the case. For the entire rest of the next day, for the whole waking 12 hours, I was extremely paranoid. I was extremely uncomfortable. Um, being happy was it not even a quite, it wasn't even a possibility at that point. And it was most definitely the scariest experience of my entire life. And I mean, I look, I'm not like, I'm not someone who's lived a really scary life, right? I'm not someone who's been, I don't know, going out to the battlefields or I go on roller coasters every day. And I went on one that like broke midway through. But, you know, I mean, to say it was like the scariest experience day of my life, like that, that's still something. And the thing was that for some reason, I, I, because that day was so bad, it kind of lasted, it didn't last for a week. It kind of had a half-life where every single day things got like a little bit better and things got a little bit better. And now we're about two weeks out from, you know, when that whole thing happened. And I'm like 98% better, which is great. But there are some things that are just really weird. I, I'm a huge fan of Stranger Things. I love watching that show. But I tried watching it a week ago and it, it was like difficult for me to watch. Which is ridiculous, man. It's I used to watch that all the time. I love that show. I'd watch it again, like reruns. 
And there are just situations that are just stressful now that weren't like that before. And I am seeing someone, which is great, because there was probably an issue not caused by the, you know, the medication I was given because there was something that happened before. The idea is the medication made it worse. But, you know, there is something that, you know, I, I probably have to work through, and I currently am. And things are looking better. Um, and that day that I uploaded the frowny face video, I did not record that video on that day. I made that video that was, I expected that the pain from the wisdom teeth would be physically too much for me. So I made that video in advance, just in case it was gonna be too painful. In fact, my wisdom teeth felt fine, but it was the wisdom teeth medication, right? I didn't line that video because in fact, I could make videos because of my wisdom teeth, but it wasn't for the reason that was like most likely what you guys thought. It was because the medication took a problem that was already beginning and blew it out of proportion into probably the scariest day of my life. Um, and for that reason, video uploads, I didn't upload for basically two days or I uploaded the one frowny face video that I didn't upload. And then I'm kind of surprised because I kind of got back into it really quickly. In all honesty, I was still not doing great for the first couple of days, but it was almost kind of therapeutic for me to get, just try to get back into like a normal routine and just to do what I used to do before. Um, but I just think, I don't totally know why I'm making this video and telling everyone. Actually, no, I do. That's a lie. I know exactly why. I'm kind of just making this video uh, just to make, you know, what happened and similar stuff like that. Like, I guess more normal and just if people experience those things to know that, you know, you're not like literally the only one who's ever gone through that. And that there are plenty of like, you know, resources out there to make it, you know, easier and more understandable. Sorry, I'm not cutting out that burp. I'm too lazy and I'm also time crunched, which is, yeah, make one of my most important videos ever in 20 minutes or less. That's a great idea, Connor. But uh, I'm just keep I'm just trying to keep it as authentic as possible. Um, so I, I guess, yeah, that's the full explanation for why I kind of dipped for a little while. Um, I think understandably, uh, one of the side effects of, you know, the medication was feeling like I was literally going insane. Like if you look at prednisone side effects, mania, why is that? Why was that given to me? I literally talked to everyone else who got their wisdom teeth out. Cause I got a lot of friends that do, and none of them were like, yeah, I got this medication, this medication. I'm like, any prednisone? They're like, nope. Even the nurse was like, well, I don't know why they gave it to you. I'm like, dude, what? Huh? <laughs> Why would you give that to me? I'll take the swelling over feeling like I'm dying and going insane, okay? I'll, I'll take a little swelling. You know what? I'm going to look like Alvin from the Chipmunks. Sure, whatever. I'll take that over whatever I experience, man. Give me the option in the future. Um, but no, but seriously, I just wanted to let you guys know what happened and kind of give you a, 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 I guess I guess it was like a story time, but not like a standard one I normally do. Um, and I uh, just want to let you know that, you know, a lot of people had those kind of like issues, not even, but I'm talking about the stuff before the medication made it a billion times worse. And probably another, just like one, the last thing I want to say is like, I, this, the feeling of like, cause I've had things be physically and well so often before, like I get sick. I, 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 you know, I actually, I only broke my nose when I was like three, but like you have a physical illness, maybe something like that. It, it's, it feels different because you know, oh, okay, I can see the problem. I can understand the problem and it'll be good over time. I'll feel better. I'll take this medication. I'll rest and it'll be better. But when there's like a mental issue, right? It is probably one of the scariest things ever because it doesn't feel like, it feels like, oh, this is just me. It, it can't be fixed. And I just want to know, let you know that those things are not true and that if any of you guys have anything like that, I mean, definitely reach out to someone. You're not alone in this. This video is kind of dark, but trust me, we'll be going back to normal, meme -y stuff. And uh, yeah, I kind of like these little diary entries of a sense that I, you know, that I've started to make. I, I've done only a few of these and this is probably the, you know, the most important one I've done, but I think I'll be doing a little bit more of these. So if you see my face in the thumbnail, make sure to click. It'll be full of fun stuff or this, cause this wasn't that fun. But anyways, if you want to support the channel, uh, one of the best things to come back from when the whole thing went down was uh, all you guys with all the support. And I appreciate that. But if you want to support the channel, Drop a like in this video and then go watch another video. Appreciate you guys. Peace. Click on the video on screen right now. I know you'll enjoy it. Just click it. Do it.